And really Marvin Chandler has the story, Marvin. Well, this is like something out of a science fiction movie, but it real and it happened. In shooting this story, my photographer Bob Dowes was chased down and viciously stung 10 times on the face and hands, even after wearing protective gear, being about 75 feet away and following the directions of the beekeeper. That's how dangerous it's been for 75-year-old widow Ruth Hines to live with these deadly killer bees in her backyard for over a year. And beekeepers estimated the swamp is 750,000 bees strong. That's three quarters of a million of nasty, buzzing, stinging bees. This is definitely a uh Definitely an African swarm right here. This was pretty bad. What happened was, after being in the hospital for two months, Mrs. Hines came home and only to find this huge hive. I have called just about everybody that had anything to do with something like this all over town. I, I thought the city would surely do it, but they don't help you, period. I'm frustrated because I can't do anything about it because uh, I really don't have the money. So there's no way. Her grandchildren can't play in the yard because of the bees. Got your pest control to the rescue. Veterans beekeeper Claude Griffin responded to our request for help and said this was one of the worst cases he's seen. This is horrible. He hacked away at the hives in the heat and humidity while the bees attacked from all angles. This is serious. There's no playing here. Serious. This is a cross between her bathroom and her bedroom. And there's really not much in between here. Maybe some fell paper. They would have gotten through to this house. They would have killed her. They would have killed her in her own home. Finally, the giant comb came out. You know, those things weigh 60, 65, 70 pounds, 80, sometimes 100. What do those big old cones do? And at the end of the day, there was one exhausted beekeeper and one relieved grandma. Well, you're a lot better off than you were a while ago. You're gonna be, you're gonna be much better off. Well, actually, bees are a necessity. They provide life to flowers. But then again, bees can be harmful, even deadly, to those who come in contact with them. Ruth Hines was lucky she wasn't harmed by those thousands of bees after she got out of the hospital. Well, I have to thank my new Marvin's angel, Claude Griffin, owner of Gotcha Pest Control Company. It was not an easy job, and my cameraman Bob Dowles can attest to that after being stung several times all over his body. Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. Sometimes wow. cameramen have to take the shot. That's true. Hazard That's pay true. today. Yeah.